Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're doing well. Today's tutorial is going to cover paracord pull paddies. These are mostly worn by women as a fashion accessory around the pool, on the beach, so wherever you want to show off your feet. Here you can see an example of a pool paddy. Naturally, you can mix it up by adding more beads, using different knots, different colors, different materials, and so on. This design begins with a loop which hooks onto one finger on the foot, usually the middle finger. Then we have a couple of beads. We have a series of square knots also referred to as cobra knots. We have a couple of snake knots, some twisting of cords, more snake knots, more twisting, and finally a couple of fisherman knots, which enable your pull paddy to be adjustable. And that's our project for today. Let's get started. As far as supplies go, you're going to need some sort of cordage. You can use Paracord 550, Type 1 Paracord, or Microcord. Each of these paddies is going to require two pieces of cord. In my case, I'm going to be using Microcord. Now the length of your cords is really going to depend on the size of the foot wearing the paddies. In my case, one cord is 4 feet long and the other 6 feet. To spice up this project you can use a couple of beads. I recommend using 3. Make sure that the hole is big enough to fit two cords through it. Other than that, you can use wooden beads, plastic ones, metal ones, whichever you have. Finally, scissors and a lighter are going to be used to cut and melt our cords. So let's tie a couple of pool paddies. To start tying, I'm going to take my short cord. In my case, this one is 4 feet long. I'm going to fold it in half and feed the bite under a heavy object. Just to hold it in place. Then, I'm going to take my long cord 6 feet long, fold it in half, and place it under my short cord at the middle point. Like this. Now I'm going to attach my long cord onto the short one using a half knot. So all I'm going to do is cross my ends and pass the left one under and through the loop. Tighten up and you have a half knot. Now Adjust the size of your loop. So slide your half knot up and down to get the right size. Tighten up and place the bite under your heavy object once more. Then pick up a bead if you're using one and attach it onto the two ends of your short cord. Now 
like this. We are now going to begin a series of square knots. These are also called cobra knots. Take the left strand, pass under two, and over the right end. Take the right end over the top into the loop on the left. Tighten up. Then take the right end under two and over the left end. The left end passes over the top into the loop on the right. Tighten up. Then again take the left end under two over the right end. The right end now passes over the top into the loop on the left. Tighten up. Take the right end under two and over the left end. The left end now passes over the top into the loop on the right. Tighten up. So this is all we're going to do. So left end right end tighten up right end left end tighten up Keep doing this until you get a sufficient length for this part. So a series of square knots. This is probably 3 inches in length. After a length of square knots, I'm going to split my ends into two pairs. Then attach a couple of beads, one onto each pair. Like this, then lock them into place using a couple of snake knots. So to do this, take a pair of strands, take the left strand and create a loop. Take the right strand, pass top down through the loop, behind the left end, over the top and back into the loop. Like this, then tighten up as close to the bead as possible.
like this. Then repeat a couple of more times. So a loop. Feed the right end through the loop. Behind the left end. Over the top and back into the loop. Then again tighten up as close to the previous snake knot as possible. So something like this. And one more for good measure. So something like this. Now we're going to transition into a twisting technique. This is the same one that is used in making a rope. Take the left end, twist it away from you, so towards the left, then over the right end. The new left end is again twisted away, so towards the left, then over the right end. And again the left end twisted away from you and over the right end. The left end twist place over. Twist, place over. Twist, place over. Now at this point I'm going to add a couple of more snake knots. This is only for a decorative effect. You can skip these and simply continue twisting. Then I'm simply going to continue twisting. So towards the left, over the right strand. Twist towards the left and over the right strand. After twisting a sufficient length, we're going to finish up by securing the two ends using a stopper knot. In my case, the Matthew Walker knot. To demonstrate the tying technique, I'm going to use larger cord. So I have two ends coming out of the twisting. Grab both ends, pick up the first one, Pass it over the second end like this. 
come around and through your first loop. Take the second end, come through your first loop, then under and through your second loop. Tighten up like this. So at this point the first strand is here at the bottom. Then the second one is above it. Take your first strand and slide it over the second one like this. Then slowly tighten up. And what you're going to get is the Matthew Walker knot. After completing one of the sides, do the other one exactly the same way. So the two sides are symmetrical. To finish up the two ends, cross them like this. Then we're going to tie a couple of overhand knots. Start with the left end, pass it around the other end, creating a loop. Then feed the end through it. Like this. Take the other end and do the same. So wrap around the other end like this, creating a loop. Feed your end through the loop. And tighten up. This makes your pull pedis adjustable. So you can make them bigger or you can close them by pulling on the two ends. Finally, trim the ends Melt them and your project is complete. So guys, that's it for our tutorial on the paracord pool paddies. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope that this project is going to liven up your pool or beach experience.